What's going on creators? So I had some questions come up about Google and Gmail and Google Drive, and I never want to assume anything. So I wanted to go through a quick run through of Google Drive. So if you do have Gmail, and if you're just starting out and you have a personal account, that's fine. As you go down the road, you may want to get something like this, which is Gmail, uh, Google Workspace, and you can get a secure business email, Google Drive, everything all under, uh, you know, with the business email. So it's say, you know, Alan at mybusiness.com. And it's much more professional. And a lot of times you'll get, you know, emails not kicked back that way because it's not a generic Gmail or Hotmail or something like one of those major companies. So if we start here in your Gmail and we go over into this little square dots over here by your profile picture. And we go into Drive as your Google Drive. That brings us right here. Now you may have some setting up to do, some buttons, something like that. Uh, but basically, uh, what it is is uh, it, it's like a hard drive, and it's a place that you can store files, pictures, assets, anything. You can also create instead of using Excel. You can use Google Docs. You can use Google Sheets instead of an Excel uh, worksheet. So this is a brand new account that I started. So brand new Gmail, brand new Google Drive. And this is completely empty. So I want to start over here. Uh, this show my drive, which is everything that's in here. I do have one file in here uh, with a TikTok backup from a, another tutorial uh, training that I did on backing up all of your TikTok content, uh, which you can find in the guide section uh, in, in the main group. And as you go to, down here, uh, you do have content that, that others can share with you, uh, can go under a share with me area. Uh, you do have spam, trash, and it does keep track of your storage. Uh, storage does move up pretty quick, especially if you are saving your videos and if they are a higher quality, when you start getting into hundreds of megabytes of video that can rack up very quickly. Uh, something like that, you may want to look into like an external drive for your phone and you can put everything on the external drive and keep all of your iCloud stuff like Gmail and iCloud free uh, of space and you won't have to spend the extra money. So first I'm going to go here to my drive and up here, this little button here, you can create all your new items. So new folder, uh, you can upload a file from your computer to store on here. You can upload a folder, an entire folder, and then you can create a Google Doc, Google Sheets, Google Slides, uh, which is for a presentation, Google Forms, uh, if you want to do a questionnaire or some sort of a poll, something like that, you can send those out in a form format. And there's other things uh, like drawings and maps and, and other things that you can get into. But main one uh, as a marketer, uh, content creator, things that you're still a uh, written format or written content that you do can all be stored here. So basically what I'm going to do is just first start a folder. I'm going to call it content and that creates it right here. Now, one thing you can do is I can I can take this this backup. And I can actually drag it right up in the content if I wanted to move it. Or I can click on it. I can hit move. And then I can move it to another folder. You can move items. Uh, you have the trash can. Uh, you can copy the link to that folder. And then there's also some other functions over here. So what I'm going to do is go in here, content, which if you double click on it, brings you into that empty folder you just made. And I'm going to create just a quick blank document. And I'm just going to call it test doc. So, so we're calling this test doc. And I'm not going to do much to it. But what I want to do, it automatically saves. But what you need to do is if you go right up here to untitled document, it's going to take whatever you titled it, whatever those kind of first words are, the first sentence. If you just click in here, 
and it's going to put that right in there. If that's a good title, it's fine. If not, you can create a new one. And you just click out here to accept that. And you have a lot of your same functions up here. You have insert with emojis and tables, images. You can format text. Have other tools if you need to do a word count. Uh, you can always do a search here. Uh, search for what you're looking for, and, and it'll usually bring it right up. But what I want to do, so this is already saved in here. If I back out of this, and I go over here, I'm in now back in my Google Drive. If I refresh this, you'll see there's test doc. I can double click on it. double click on it and it it brings it right up so what I can do from here is to now another option if this is something that you want to share you don't want to share it as a Google Doc you can come in here and you can download now you can download this to your computer and do a PDF document. You can download it on your computer and then you can put it back here in Google Drive. You can upload it back, you know, you can do it that way, but you can also share it from your computer as well. But that's how you would save it that way. So you just click on there, it brings up your, your computer, you know, wherever you wanna save it to, downloads or whatnot, and then you would save it and it would automatically convert it to a PDF. And then you have access wherever you placed on your folder. I'm just going to leave that. Oh, I guess I'm going to save that. <laughs> the other thing is we can't do much with this as far as sharing until we edit our share. We come up here in this right corner, click on share, and it's going to say it's restricted. So if you click right here, click anyone with the link, and then we're going to do copy link. Now this is so others can view it. You can have a commenter or an editor as well if you're collaborating on a document with somebody. So we copied that. And then basically what you can do is use that. If I just open a new window here, it saved that. And I can bring that anywhere. So that is how to share a Google Doc. Now you can also collaborate on this as well. You can also see when others are viewing this page too, it shows uh, sometimes a little uh, animal or something or their cursor on where it is and where they're viewing on it. So if you kind of see someone on your page that you've shared, that's why, because you gave them viewing access, but they can't change it unless they're an editor or a commenter. Now, I just quickly wanted to show you, instead of sharing that long link, sometimes we need to post it in our social media and make sure if you were putting a link on Facebook, make sure it's in the comments and not in the main body because Facebook doesn't like that, like many other things they don't like. But I'm going to go to bit.ly.com, which is one way of doing a shortened link. Uh, you can set up a free account. Go right up here to create new. Want to create a link. Right in there and hit enter now it creates it it knows that it's test doc google docs you can edit it you can... so i'm just going to leave that as is and all i would do here is copy it i would copy this new link which is this short one right here i have a, another training that can show you uh, a place that i've learned and that I use every day where I store my links, uh, popular messages, websites, all that, all in one convenient place that I can get either on my computer, my cell phone. I use it for my business. I use it for my job and between. And it's probably my most valuable resource. So stay tuned soon, probably after this one. And I'll share another one. So but that's it. I wanted to go through and show some basics of Google Drive and how to use Google Docs and copying 
and sharing, and then also taking that long link and shortening it down to a bit.ly link to share as well. So if you have any other questions, let me know. I hope you got some use out of this and I'll see you on the next one.